Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be going through another What If card, What If Crepin Diata. We're going to go through the card as detail stats, clips and summary before we get into all of that. If I could ask you guys to please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell so you know when I upload a comment down below what your thoughts are on this card. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So guys, this is the team that I played Crepin Diata in i played him in the 4-2-3-1 on that right hand side i didn't move him from there i wanted to try him out on that right hand side see how he did as a winger and overall guys my first impressions this card this card uh is is very good like he is game breaking good um just in terms of how good he is now compared to what he will be if he gets the boost this card will be absolutely phenomenal without further ado though let's just get into the review uh krebin diata 5-9 high medium right footed four star swimming and four star weak foot so guys all of this really nice to have in a card like this um especially for a winger i actually think he he i know this may sound stupid he seems taller in game than he said than it says on this card it says five down here and he feels 5 10 5 11 which is a nice size to have he has very good strength as well which maybe helps you uh helps build his stature in terms of a player five games played eight goals scored and two assists so really decent return there as well on this card um guys i tried a couple of different chemistry styles on him i did try the architect i tried the engine overall guys i think the one thing you need to be boosting on this card is the passing um but you know discussing that we'll just get straight into the traits um the key cons of this card we'll go through that first considering we were leading on from there uh, the short pass is a big con for me guys he needs a big helping hand on that passing um, even his crossing isn't that great as well and for a winger you do want that ability to be able to cross the ball so i do think it's really important to give him that However, guys, what I would say is that overall, I think this card is really, really fantastic. The other only con that I would say of this card is his AT composure. I would say that that really is affecting his shooting, uh, especially from the narrow angles. He struggled a lot on those shots, particularly for me. And the other shots where it seems to be relatively straight onto the goal and you can just finish it normally, um, he did very well. He finished most of the chances there. But when you start to take on those narrow angles and need a little more composure, he did struggle a bit more for me. In terms of the pros, though, guys... His speed is phenomenal. He is so quick. His agility is great as well. Um, his jumping and stamina are fantastic too. Uh, his ball control is a little low, but with a boost, you can help that out as well. His dribbling sometimes can be a little loose. But overall, it does do pretty well. His shot power, long shots, and finishing are all pretty decent too as well. So a nice stat set there as well. I ended up boosting his strength, guys, because I feel like with this winger, considering he feels a little bigger in-game, uh, giving him that strength made him feel just so much more powerful against those fullbacks and centre-backs. He was able to hold people off um, and get around them very easily as well. As well finally guys getting into player traits he has the speed dribbler trait no other traits to speak home of uh, so having covered all of that we're going to get into some of the clips that i got with him so guys getting into some of diata's clips here and what you guys are going to see here is his explosive pace his ability down that wing um, and just his general winger play in terms of one being able to finish chances and two being able to create them of course as well now guys the first thing i want to touch on is of course that lightning pace this guy has bags and bags of pace um, and coming up against a slightly slower fullback you will have so much joy especially because of the high level of agility um, and ability just to move around the man and you guys can see there with that chemistry style boost um, that he has a lot of strength on him and is able to get around defenders fairly easy now as you guys can also see he feel he looks sorry bigger than his card suggests he says he's only five nine he feels taller than that and that means that you seem at somewhat of a physical advantage with this card as well which i really love this card made the right runs at the right time as well and with that lightning pace he was able just to take advantage of plenty of these opportunities now the next thing i want to get into guys is his general dribbling of course which kind of links into his pace um his dribbling is very good guys uh, overall i would say it's it's aside from the pace of course it is the best part of his game the ability to be able to move so fast however i would say that there is a slight con of his reactions and his uh, ball control which do need to be boosted um if you are going to put a chemistry style on him and want him to play more as a winger who's going to finish off chances take the ball into the box and and create uh, in general as well you will need to look at that dribbling stat to see how you want to balance it up if you do you don't want to boost that at all the next thing i want to get into guys is his passing now his passing I thought was pretty poor, um, he didn't often make good short passes or long passes, now he did come up with a couple of decent crosses but that was out of a handful of crosses that I did throw in so I do feel like that does need work as well, um, if you were to play him as more of a creative winger definitely look at boosting his passing and his crossing so that you're able to do that as well. 
getting into the next part of this and as you guys will have seen we're rolling into the goals now is his goal scoring prowess his ability to finish the ball i mean look at that and with that four star weak foot he's able to finish so many of these chances as well that it's really fun to have a card like this predatory instinct here actually steals the goal of Liz Melu there instead of letting the goal the ball go in there but overall guys i felt like this card did really well in the finishing department it was a pleasant surprise to have a card that can finish so well um for you know an 85 rated card you don't expect this so much and the way this card is going if he does get the boost to this card guys he's going to be a really fantastic winger in general especially with a chem style then put on him he did i mean look at this turning here to create that chance and a lovely finishing the side netting i would say guys though that his composure does hold him back slightly and you guys have seen that on a couple of the chances from the narrow angle he does struggle a little bit in terms of finishing the chances in general the final clip here you guys are going to see again what he does best creating an opportunity getting through on goal taking it onto his left foot here and smashing it in So guys, getting into this crap in Diata uh, summary. Now guys, please do bear in mind that the prices are fluctuating a lot. This will come down as well as the as the week goes on. Of course, unless uh, people deem this card to be worth 600k and make him extinct, this will come down eventually. The pool pack rate, the pack pool rate, sorry, of this card will be too high uh, to keep this price here. 224 on the PlayStation, 158 on the Xbox, and 232 on the PC. The key stats of this card, guys, the agility, the pace, um, the shot power as well is pretty good. The stamina and the jumping, of course, as well, all fantastic. Now guys, there's a number of ways that you can boost this card. I think per Personally, you guys should be looking at two things. The first thing is his dribbling, maybe to boost that, uh, and then to boost his shooting as well. The other thing would be to boost his passing and crossing. That really depends on how you want to play uh, this winger. I do think he's capable of being a creative winger as well as both uh, a finisher winger. I personally prefer to use him as a finisher winger, so my recommended chemistry style to you guys would be the marksman. I think that does give him the reasonable ball control you need as long, along with that agility. The reactions are a little low, but it's okay. Um, it is workable. The composure still stays low, of course, but bringing that finishing up to 97 means that he's far less likely to miss those chances especially from the high angle ones and um, you should be okay in that regard as well in terms of similar players guys <clears throat> This Alessandrini is not a bad shot, I do think that this card plays a lot better. Um, I haven't used this Rafinha, um, so I can't really comment on that comparison there, but I do think a better version of this Alessandrini for sure. Something similar to this Porto, actually, in terms of his uh, output ability and what he's able to do. Not as good a passer, but definitely a better finisher uh, than that Porto, but something similar in, in the way that he's able to create chances, move forward with speed, and really cause the opponent's problems as well. His speed is a really, really massive factor uh, for him. In terms of the link ability guys you've got of course a perfect link to uh, Balde at Monaco as well but if you were to look further into the strong links you've got some really nice ones in uh, Ben Yedda, Fabregas, uh, Kevin Voland, uh, Idrissa Gay, Kevin Voland, uh, Niane of course the player of the month as well as some storyline players in there, Golovin's right back card as well you've got some nice link ability in there guys and that's really nice one to have actually to build into your teams if you did want to try out a Liga and team that you'd link to Golovin into be a nice way to build that in which brings me to my final recommendation as to whether I would buy this card when the price does come down. Guys, I think this card is 100% worth it, even more so than Florian Tovan. Um, I think I have done a review on that, so please do check that out. But I think this card is a phenomenal card, um, and this really will be a game, like a really, really game-changing card when he does get that, if he does get that boost. Um, I think he's really great going forward, really able to attack, really able to cause people problems. And you guys have seen that from the clips, how well I played with him. Um, and I can't wait to carry on using that. I actually will be keeping my one. I won't be selling my version of him uh, and waiting for that boost to come in so i can try him out again for you guys when he does get upgraded hope you guys did enjoy this review if you did please do smash that like button until next time i will see you all in a bit